Alright guys, how's it going? So it was never really my intention to make this video. But there was a user on Discord and he was having a little bit of trouble recreating an effect. Now I actually know you can do this manually using the audio drivers, but there's an add-on called Visualizer. I'll put the link in the description down below. And essentially what it does is it takes an audio file and then it represents it with a graph. So we'll quickly jump into Blender and we'll take a quick look. And of course, in traditional fashion, we'll delete your cube. Now once you've installed the add-on, come to the scene properties and you'll see it here down the bottom, Visualizer. Now it's asking for an audio file, so I'm actually going to select the audio that I use in the video. How original. <laughs> Now add audio to VSE, we'll just leave that in a moment. Bar count, the amount of bars that you actually want to represent, we'll leave it in 64, we'll pretty much leave everything in default. Bar width, 0 0.8 is fine. Amplitude, we'll leave it at that. Spacing, fine. Bar colour, now we can set a bar colour but I'll just leave it in a moment. Use radio, so I'm going to enable use radio and what that'll do is rather than just doing a straight bar, it'll do a radio and we'll keep the radius at 20 and we'll regenerate visualizer. Now depending on the size of the mp3 or the wave file that you use, it can take up to several seconds so just keep that in the back of your mind when you're converting. Now that took about 30 seconds to convert a 2 minute audio file. So I'm actually going to select one of the files that it created and I'm just going to go to view and I'll frame all. I'll then hit play in the timeline and you'll see my bar graph, pretty damn cool. Now you may have seen this effect in After Effects or a kind of similar program. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to select one of the bars. I'll come to the modifier tab, I'll add in a modifier and I'll add in a solidify modifier. And what I'll do here is I'll just make it thicker. I'll then press A to select everything else in the scene. I'll press Ctrl and L to do linking and I'll link the modifiers and check this out. It basically copies this modifier and then applies it to all the other objects and it means I can get a thickness on my bar. And that's pretty much the basics of the add-on. It's very simple but it's pretty good to be honest and you could probably take it up another level and kind of do something else but that's the basics of the add-on. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.